Hi everybody and welcome to this tutorial on MI rack and how to reproduce a THX effect. The THX effect, if you don't know what it is, it stands for the High Fidelity Audiovisual Reproduction Standards um, <clears throat> for theatres um, uh, where uh, um, movies are actually played and so on. Um, you can find more information in Wikipedia or also there are some nice videos uh, on YouTube. Anyway, here we are on MI Rack. I just uh, created a new patch. So let's click on add and first thing let's add um, <clears throat> a mixer which will come uh, handy later on. Here we are then let's click again on the plus um, sign. This time let's go to the pack category. Let's select NYSTHI and let's scroll down right towards the bottom where uh, we can uh, um, see uh, the module which we are interested uh, on. <clears throat> so um, let's see where it is. Um, it's called Deep Note THX FX Simulator. Here it is. So let's click uh, at the patch. So the first thing I want to do is to uh, play straight away to get um, you to know what it sounds like. So let's select connect the left and right output of that module into the mixer and the same for the mixer and the audio out as usual. And let's click on the start button and let's see what it sounds like. Okay, the interface is pretty straightforward and we have a start button to trigger the start of the cycle we, and we have an input to trigger that. We also have an output to chain uh, the same similar module into each other. Then we have an attack rate, which is good to change the, the shape of the attack. We have the time for the duration of the cycle and then we have uh, four different frequencies. And you can select which one to activate and also you can change the different frequency. Um, I'm now going into the explanation of the algorithms and how it works. Of course, if you double click on the module, you click uh, on the view manual, it, there it gives you additional information and also how to, it explains also how to use uh, CV to control time and frequency in the formula that is applied down here. Um, the other thing I wanted to show you is how to chain um, different ones together. So let's double click on it, click manage and then duplicate. Uh, do that um, again and again so that we have four modules. And then let's uh, drag <coughs> the chain trigger out on the first one into the input of the start of the second one and then repeat the process. And anyway, here we are. Then let's connect the left and right output into the mixer for each of the modules, like so. And lastly, then let's play a little bit with the parameters. So let's change, for example, the duration cycle, uh, some shorter than others. And then in some other cases, let's change the frequency. Uh, so that um, so that so that we can hear some differences and also let's don't enable all the frequency for each of the modules but let's do that progressively something like that let's see what it sounds like As you can see from the mixer, the second one uh, terminated last because it had the longest uh, time cycle. 
which you can see f51 one thing to note is uh, i don't know if you saw but the cpu usage went up almost to uh, 70 percent i think 80 to 68 percent and there was uh, also some crackly noise and uh, so bear that in mind if you use uh, these uh, in a patch i think the best thing would be to probably record the sound and uh, the effect when uh, you're happy with and then import it into your patch and then play that instead of having to generate it by the different models anyway i think this is um a grey uh, little module, uh, which is uh, nice to be able to reproduce uh, the effect. I hope you enjoyed and see you next time. Bye.